Hi everybody, it's time for the answers for DD304. You guys did pretty good. This one uh, wasn't too difficult. This is just a tiny part of the larger story that we studied in DDM. And once again, uh, keep watching these lessons, but if you're serious about studying English, I want you to join DDM. You can get the free lessons free uh, we give you eight DDM lessons, which is about listening. This is DD Daily Dictation, DDM Daily Dictation members. And we also give you three speaking lessons. That class is called PERF. You can sign up for the lessons free. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. You get the 11 lessons. Of course, if you like those lessons, if you're serious, we want you to join. So we'll send you an email uh, if you sign up and that will even give you a discount on some of the courses. Anyway, let's get into the answers. Before, we, before I give you the answer and the explanation, I want you to listen one more time. You know, understanding technology and being able to control it is now as fundamental as being able to read and write. There's so many stories that blow me away. There's a woman that emailed me that is was a secretary and now she's quitting her job to be a web designer. There's a guy that learned iOS and he built an iPhone app and now he pays his mortgage from that. Understanding technology and being able to control it is now as fundamental as being able to read and write. There's so many stories that blow me away. There's a woman that emailed me that is was a secretary and now she's quitting her job to be a web designer. There's a guy that learned iOS and he built an iPhone app and now he pays his mortgage from that. Okay, nobody was perfect. Yeah, this was a difficult one. Actually, it's, it's, there's a lot. This is a really huge DD. Um, you guys did really well, but just a little mistake here and there, but that's okay, you know, say la vie. Uh, Americans would probably have to listen two or three times to be perfect too. So I don't know how many times you listen to. The idea for dictation, when you do dictation, you want to be able to have everything perfect, basically perfect, 99% after three times. That's the goal of dictation. No more than three times, that's the goal. Now, reality, Sometimes you need five times, sometimes 10 times. I know, sometimes you need a lot. For me, when I do the dictation, once. I listen once, I write it down, then I listen again to check, to make sure. And actually, uh, I don't think I had any problems for this one. Just one time, that's enough. But for a native English speaker, and I'm a professional dictation person, that should be enough. Let's go back here. Understanding technology, understanding technology. So we don't really hear a D here, understand ding. We can understanding, understanding. But the faster we say it, both of these uh, Ds can disappear. Understanding, understanding, understanding. And the reason is, is because of the N. So in my classes, I teach the students, we have three strong sounds, S, N, L, Shane, never, lies. And three weak sounds, D, T, T, H. Don't trust that. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's true. You can trust that. Uh, and these N's are strong sounds. The D's are a weak sound. So if we say it fast, understanding, understanding. If we slow down, perfect, understanding, okay? Understanding technology and being. So here's another example. The N cancels out that D. And being able to control it. And being able to control it. The word to has seven different sounds. Da, ta, da, ta, d, t, and to. The most common are d and t. So in this case, able to, able to, both are possible. Probably the faster we say it, it's going to be more of a D and a schwa. Able to, able to control it understanding technology and being able to control it. We could say to understanding technology and being able to control it. That's fine, we can do that. Control it, stop sound, control it is now as fun. So, this is the subject. A 
He's looking at it as one thing, understanding and controlling as one thing. A is now as fundamental, fundamental. So once again, fundamental is perfect. You should say, everybody should say fundamental. But that N could cancel the D. The N could cancel the T. So fundamental, 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 fundamental. Everything is possible. All four are possible. Both fundamental, one, fundamental, one, fun, <laughs> fundamental, or none, fundamental. All of them are possible. Him, I think he kept this one and canceled this one, I think, is now as fundamental, fundamental, fundamental as being able to read and write, being able to read and write. So again, we could say duh, we could say t, both are fine. We could say two. Two is perfect, but most Americans will not say two. As being able to read and write, read and write, and again, read and write, read and write. Here we do keep it reading, reading. It's like a, almost a glottal stop. Reading, 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 write, reading, write. Stop some. There's so many. Yeah, bad grammar, but that's what we say. Uh, in DDM, actually, last week, I think last Monday, we had another example. There's several, you know, whatever. There are. It should be there are, but daily English, we really do say there's so. There is. It's wrong. We should say there are. There's so many stories. There are so many stories that blow me away. Excellent phrasal verb. Blow me away. I'll explain in a minute. There's one story is, there is one story is of a woman that, a woman that, the faster we say it, this N could make the TH weak, emailed me, emailed me. Now, uh, it's a story that, that blow me away, stories that he has heard. These are past tense stories, so we need to hear the ED. But we might not hear the ED, and the reason is we have a strong sound here and a strong sound there. Remember the strong sounds? S, N, L. Well, here's an L, and but that's an M. Ah, but similar to the N is the M and the NG. Those are all strong sounds. Similar to the S is the Z, the SH, the CH, the J, the ZH, even the F can be in that family. Those are strong sounds. Similar to the L is the dark, uh, uh, the L, the dark L, and the R. R is also possible. Anyway, emailed me, emailed me, emailed me, emailed me. The faster we say it, we're just not going to hear the D. It's really tough. Email me that. Uh, there's a woman that emailed me that is, was, so he starts to say is, but then he changes it to was a secretary, secre secretary, Terry secretary, and now, D is gone, and now she's quitting her job, quitting her job. We can cancel the H. Quitting her job is perfect. Many Americans will say quitting her job, quitting her job, and I teach my students there are seven H's. He, her, him, his, had, has, have. Those are very common H words, and when they're in the middle of a sentence, many times we cancel the H. So, quitting her job, quitting her job to be up, to be up, a little bit of a Y there. Web designer, designer, this is a Z sound. There's a guy. Another story is of a guy that learned iOS. Learned iOS. iOS is a proper noun. And he built an iPhone app. He built an iPhone app, an application, a program for the iPhones. And now, again, the D is gone. And now he pays his, or now he pays his. It's possible to cancel. We can keep them. Now he pays his. Now he pays his. We can cancel. Now he pays his. Now he pays his. Now he pays his mortgage. The T is silent. In French, mortgage. Something like that. Uh, in America, uh, in America, American English, mortgage. Mortgage. Do some people stop the T? Mortgage. I don't think I've ever heard that. Again, typical American pronunciation, 
mortgage, gidge, G I J, mortgage, mortgage. And now he pays his mortgage from that. And I want you to listen here. When he says from that, it's almost, it almost sounds like from with a schwa, from that, from that. And yeah, that's possible. Just like here where the M could cancel the D, well, this M can cancel the TH, okay? Now, when we have a cancellation in this situation, this actually changes to an N sound. I don't know why, but that's what happens. From that, we don't say from that, we say from that, from that, from that. So just go to the TH, from that. From that, from that, from that, from that, from that. The weaker the TH becomes, the more it disappears. We're still left with an N sound, and that's what happens here. Okay, so let's say this together real slow. Okay, let's just go slow. Understanding technology and being able to control it is now as fundamental as being able to read and write. There is so many stories that blow me away. There's a woman that emailed me that is, was, a secretary and now she's quitting her job to be a web designer. There's a guy that learned iOS and he built an iPhone app and now he pays his mortgage from that. Okay, it's not too bad. So let's understand the story. So, understanding technology, understanding technology, information technology for the, for the uh, computers, for the iPhones, for the tablets, understanding technology and being able to control it. Understanding is not enough. Understanding and being able to control it, being able to program, being able to use it. So understanding technology is now fundamental. No, no, no. Understanding technology and being able to control it. Both. You need both. This is, this is one. Okay. This couple is, this couple is now in 2017 as important, as fundamental as, it's as important as being able to read and write. In 1970, in 1870, if you wanted to be uh, an engineer, uh, a leader in business, you needed, probably, you should know how to read and write. It's fundamental. It's absolutely necessary. Very important. Now, reading and writing, yes, you need to know how to read and write, and also you need to be able to understand technology, and you need to know how to control it. So, nowadays, Young people need to know how to read and write and understand and control technology. Those three, got to have it. You have to have it. There are so many stories that blow me away. There are so many stories of people who learned how to understand and control technology. And those stories, those stories blow me away. They, they surprise me. They, they're amazing. When I hear the story, Wow, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm so surprised. For example, there's a woman. I, there's a story of a, about a woman. Uh, she emailed me. Uh, and she is, I, I mean, she was a secretary. You know, a secretary. Nothing special about a secretary. Many secretaries around the world. She was a secretary. And now she's quitting her job as a secretary to be a web designer. She learned about technology and she's learning to control it and now she's quitting her job. She's free to work at home and be a web designer. It's amazing. There's a guy. There's a guy that learned iOS, the Apple operating system, the iOS, and he built an app, an iPhone app. So he's got an iPhone, like a game or something. He built an iPhone app and he's selling the app and he's making money. How much money is he making? And now he pays his mortgage from that. What's a mortgage? In America, many people, when they buy a home, let's say the home is $100,000, they pay $20,000, and then from the bank, they borrow 
$80,000. And that money is called a mortgage. So every month, and it could be for five years, 15 years, it could be 30 years. Every month, he has to pay the bank back, and that's called a mortgage. So every month, he has a mortgage payment. And this guy built an iOS app, and he, sell, he sold it. And every month, he gets money for selling the app. And that money is enough to pay for his mortgage. So that app is allowing him to live in a nice house for free. It's amazing. Here's a woman who's become free from her job. She is her own boss. Here's a guy that now lives in a house for free. Because why did these two people succeed like this? Because they learned how to understand technology and control it. That's the story. Did you do a good job? Did you understand the story? This is just a tiny part of what we studied in DDM. Uh, DDM is great. Every Monday, uh, we study part of a series. Every Thursday, a different, like a news show or a, a history or a science, something like that. This is from a Thursday lesson. So a totally different subject. Last week, we had a story about a Canadian storyteller. Fantastic, wonderful uh, story. Uh, this week, I don't know what we're going to do this week. Maybe some TV commercials. I don't know. It's great. Uh, so DDM is a fantastic class. If you like this, if you're enjoying this type of lesson, and if you're serious about not only improving your listening skill, improving your pronunciation, but also improving your understanding and learning about America and how Americans think and about the culture and all those things, then DDM is absolutely the class you want to join. If you haven't tried our free lessons, get them www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Sign up and you'll start getting the lessons. You'll also receive Perth lessons, which are my speaking lessons. And then about a week later, uh, you'll receive another email with some nice discounts. Uh, or you can join immediately on our website. The price is amazing. And it's, it's, it's incredible. So uh, we'd love to see you there, okay? Don't worry, I'll have another DD lesson, but I wanna see you in DDM. Okay, let's go ahead and say this once together and then we'll listen to the original. You ready? Let's do it. A little bit fast, not too fast. You ready? Here we go. Understanding technology and being able to control it is now as fundamental as being able to read and write. There's so many stories that blow me away. There's a woman that emailed me that is, was a secretary and now she's quitting her job to be a web designer. There's a guy that learned iOS, and he built an iPhone app, and now he pays his mortgage from that. You know, understanding technology and being able to control it is now as fundamental as being able to read and write. There's so many stories that blow me away. There's a woman that emailed me that is, was a secretary, and now she's quitting her job to be a web designer. There's a guy that learned iOS, and he built an iPhone app, and now he pays his mortgage from that.